Here are this week's comparison test competitors. Two mid-sized sedans with plenty of space for a large family. The Renault Fluence is, not relative new. Renault Fluence is still relatively new on the market and is said by its maker to boast the feeling of a mid-range car for the price of a compact model, says our man on the road, Matas Kurat. Now in its second generation, the Skoda Octavia makes the same claim. Let's see if they're up to that promise. We start with the Fluence. It was launched in 2010. Models for the European market are built in Turkey. It is based on the Samsung SM3 and Renault Megane 3 models. The maker's aim was to offer tried and tested technology and slick packaging and at a reasonable price. The entry-level version is available for just over 18,000 euros. The 103 kilowatt version we tested costs just over 21,000 euros in Germany. French cars used to have a luxurious gourmet-style image. That ultra-comfort doesn't apply 100% to the Renault Fluence. The handling is soft, the steering very soft, likewise the pedals. But you still notice a lot of bumps and undulations. And the car is pretty loud. A shame, says Matis. And what about the interior design? It takes some getting used to the instruments being slanted back. Normally they're more vertical, which Matis finds more convenient. Here, they're at an angle, which he's not too keen on. But it's not all bad news. The sat-nav in the Fluence is among the cheapest built-in systems of its kind. It was co-created with TomTom and is operated via this remote control and not via touchscreen, as is usually the case with TomTom. It takes getting used to, but then works perfectly well. Now to the Octavia. Its name is revived from a model that was originally launched in 1959 but was then discontinued in 1971 before being resurrected in the mid-1990s. The second generation of the new Octavia has been around since 2004 and was revamped two years ago. The basic version with an output of 59 kilowatts costs just 15,390 euros. More power doesn't come for free and our 1.8 liter TSI with 118 kilowatts and dual clutch transmission will set you back just under 26,000 euros. Then there are the optional extras. The Octavia suspension is comfortable but firm. Of course you notice undulations but not much more than in the softer Renault Fluence. The steering is pleasantly direct, meaning reassuringly sound contact to the road at all times. What bothers Mattis at the moment is the road noise traveling from the back to the front. He's not sure whether that's due to the tires. So, further points lost on the ride front. And the interior? The Octavia's interior matches that of other Volkswagen Group models in terms of workmanship. In certain cases, it's even better. Mata says the main instrument cluster, for example, is much nicer than the one in the new EOS. The exterior shows the degree of attention paid to detail. The VW influence is also clearly evident on the body. The Skoda cuts an elegant figure, but nevertheless has a dynamic presence. As does the Renault. Bold contours on the hood and a front section that gives the car a mean look. The overall impression is a sporty one. And the Fluence shows its elegant side at the rear with its curved taillights.
The two candidates have ample cargo space, 560 liters in the Octavia Fastback, where you can lift up the entire tailgate. The Renault Fluence boasts 530 liters, but the devil is in the detail. While the Octavia's tailgate is hinged at the top and on struts, the Fluence has huge bars that inevitably get in the way. Plus, the spring mechanism at the back is exposed, so when the car is fully loaded, the trunk can no longer open or close properly. After the two have showed what they can do on country roads, the action moves to the Autobahn. We want to see how comfortable and secure they feel at higher speeds. First up is the Skoda. The noise level here in the Skoda Octavia varies strongly according to the road surface. Here, whether driving at 120 or 140 kilometers an hour, our noise gauge displays values between 71 and 74 decibels. An acceptable noise level over longer journeys. So, how does the Renault fare? The gauge says the Renault Fluence is at the same level as the Skoda Octavia, but it feels louder due to the louder engine and stronger wind noise at the doors. Why are the test values the same? The measurements don't necessarily take deep frequencies into account, but now it's time to sum up. The price difference of around 5,000 euros has to have manifested somewhere. If you're not too demanding on the workmanship front and primarily want a big family car with plenty of cargo space for going on vacation, then you'll like the Renault. But those preferring quality and comfort will be more likely to plump for the Skoda Octavia.